What's up, YouTube? This is Bullseye8231, and today I am in a 2003 Toyota 4Runner, and I am showing you how to fix the shifter cable on your Toyota 4Runner. Um, so the uh, shifter cable bushing rotted out and was no longer putting the vehicle in gear. Um, and so I was actually stuck in a parking lot. And so uh, I had to go ahead and tear this all apart so that I could get the shifter working. Um, I have videos on how to quickly fix and temporarily fix that issue uh, with a zip tie, which basically uh, is you putting the cable back on and putting a zip tie here so that it can still slide and work. Um, but I have a, uh, this video is how to fully fix and replace the bushing um but i do realize that i have already pulled this all apart um and so what i'm about to do is jump to uh fixing the actual issue once you get the part the the shifter cable bushing and then i'm going to show you how to reassemble it all but as i reassemble it all uh basically you will just do everything i do backwards and i'll kind of walk you through that and so this video is a little bit different than uh what i normally do but like i said i was in a bind and uh, was not able to film while i uh, was stuck in a parking lot and so uh, if you're stuck in the same kind of situation you can go to the link in the description and go ahead and click that video uh, for how to quickly fix the issue uh, but I'm going to go ahead and dive right in and show you a full walkthrough of how to reinstall uh, and take everything apart and, and walk it back so let's go ahead and jump right in all right, so the only tools you're gonna need to actually do this uh, is a flathead screwdriver, um, this 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. I do have a pretty long extension on here. It could be done with a smaller extension or maybe even no extension, uh, but it's gonna be very difficult. And so if you have an extension, uh, go ahead and get them. And if you have multiple, you can kind of stack them like I did so you can have it tall enough to get into the bin. Um, you'll see that in a little bit. And then you're also, going to need a channel pair of channel locks you don't necessarily need one this big this is just the one i had so um but we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to fix the shifter cable bushing and then we're going to get into how to actually dismantle everything and put it all back together all right so once you get everything removed uh, what you're going to want to do is locate this clip that holds the actual shifter cable in place uh, and to remove that i'm going to use this pair of channel locks and basically I'm just going to grab it and it's just going to be a pull straight out like that all right um, so we're going to put that to the side make sure we don't lose it um, it comes out pretty easy uh, but basically this shifter nail is going to just kind of slide out back toward me I do still have the shifter connected um, because uh, the cable connected at the top because it's kind of hard to put back on but I'm going to go ahead and kind of slip it off um, I may be able to do, may not be able to do this with the zip tie, uh, but I'm trying to leave the zip tie in place because I did buy a bushing and I'm not sure if this bushing is going to fit. So I want to make sure that I can put my zip tie back on if this is not going to work. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, turn the vehicle to the on position just to accessory mode. Um, so I'm not actually going to start the vehicle and then I'm going to put it in gear, and pull it back. Um, as you can see, when I pulled it back, now you can see where it connects in there. Um, you can also see the cable basically popped out of where it was supposed to be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the cable off like so. All right, so I got the cable popped off. Um, and now you can see I have the actual part exposed, right? So... The vehicle is still in uh, neutral, so we're gonna put the emergency brake on just to make sure that it stays put. Um, so now the emergency brake's on so I can let go of the brake with my other foot. Uh, and then we're gonna take our bushing and we're going to basically just press the bushing into place like so, all right? Once that bushing is in place, now we've got to reconnect it to the rod uh, in here at the top. If you can see, um, that's the rod right there, straight ahead, that it connects on. You see that silver right there. 
Um, so that's where it's going to connect. So we're going to slide it in and push it on. I'm going to attempt to film this. Um, so we'll kind of see if we can see it while I'm pushing it on. All right. So you can see I've got my shifter cable in position. I'm going to attempt to push it on to the rod. And it looks like it got on there. And it seems to be holding. All right, so now that the bushing is reconnected, the shifter should work properly. But what we got to do is make sure we align this cable to go back in position so we can put the clip back on. Um, so I'm kind of going to need two hands for this, but I'm going to try to. Um, so basically, I'm going to push it back up into park, pulling the cable back into its proper position while I'm guiding this. So as you can see, I just guided this back into place. And so it is back where it needs to be. And now we can take our clip once again. And remember the clip uh, faces that way of uh, the part you grab. Um, so this just pushes back on to hold the cable in place. And it feels like everything is working properly once again. All right. So now what we have to do is begin to put the rest of the vehicle back together. All right, so once you get your shifter cable bushing replaced uh, and everything is working properly as it should, um, you're going to get your center console again. And this literally just lifts up out of here. Um, and so we're about to push it back down and I'll show you where the bolts are that hold it in place. Uh, but basically, uh, we're just going to try to set it back in place. I may need two hands for this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start trying to work it back into place. Um, as you can see, we're just going to work it down um, and get it kind of, <clears throat> it just kind of sits in position. And so we're going to make sure um, that it's not getting hung up on the seat or anything um, and that it's aligning where it needs to align. As you can see, it's kind of snapping back into place. There is one plug um, for this center console. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Again, this will be the last piece you put uh, you take out, uh, but it's the first piece you put back in. And so uh, the reason I told you you need a flathead screwdriver is so that you can hit these little clips. If you're having trouble getting some of these clips out with your hand, they're kind of hard to get to. You can take the flathead screwdriver and put it in there uh, and push that clip right out. So once this is mounted <coughs> in place, what I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to show you uh, there are two clips, one on each side, that actually hold the console in place and so as you can see this all aligns and so these are going to clip in like so um so the same thing when you're taking these out all you do is pull it out like that and then this whole piece is ready to kind of come out of there um after it's it's bolted unbolted so now that we're about ready to bolt it back together i'm gonna go ahead and push these back in and there's one of these on each side so i'm also going to come to this side and make sure this is all lined up and push it in and make sure it's tight um, and make sure that's where that needs to be. All right, so now that we've got the center console in, we can now reinstall the bolts. So there's gonna be two bolts here at the front. So again, you're gonna take those out uh, when you're assembling the vehicle. There's gonna be one here in the middle on this side. There's gonna be one here on this side in the middle. And there is going to be two inside the center console uh, here in the center if you can see that so there's one there and there's one on this side and so basically what we got to do is just get this whole console right and aligned and make sure everything is in this position we're going to go ahead and start running those six bolts back in place all right so once those bolts are tight again there are six bolts you have two in the front uh, two in the middle, one here, one on this side of the shifter, uh, and then two inside of the actual compartment. Uh, one on each, one there, one there. So uh, once those bolts are in, uh, again, <coughs> those are the only six bolts that have to come out in order for this to actually, this center console to come out. Up to this point, you will not have had to take any bolts out. It just snaps and clips. Again, don't forget about those two clips at the front when you're when you're taking this out. The other thing, I plugged this plug in over here. There's also one on the back side over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that one back in. So I'll plug it there. 
Uh, and now we are ready to install the next piece of the center console. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just get it over here. And this is, all of this stuff is basically uh, just to make the vehicle look good. Um, so it makes it more sleek looking keeps all the wires contained and those kinds of things. Again, there is nothing here uh, that is going to actually be bolted. Um, and so this is just snaps and clips, uh, much like what you have done up to this point. So we're gonna go ahead and snap it back in place. And again, to get this off, you're just gonna grab right here and it just unsnaps, just like so, okay? You can grab back here, you can unsnap. Um, there's no wire under this component. Uh, the next component does have some wires, but um, so once that's back in place, we're ready for the last piece, uh, which will be the first piece you end up taking out. So this one has the most electrical connections of everything. Um, so we've got an electric connection here, plus this car vehicle also has seat heaters. Um, and so we'll have to make sure we plug those back in. So we're gonna plug in those two uh, seat heaters and we're gonna plug in this uh, power uh, as well. All right, so we got all the wires uh, plugged back in. You'll also notice that there are two wires. Um, this blue wire is not used for anything and this other white wire is also not used for anything or white plug um these would just be other accessories as you can see they have different accessories that could be here but there's nothing there um so that could be something there uh it also could be uh that your vehicle has some other kind of option uh and so your plugs may vary a little bit different but these two were not plugged in anything so we don't need to worry about trying to plug those into anything um you're just going to basically uh, make sure you're plugging in what you unplugged so now that we got this um out or back in uh, we're gonna make sure your wires make sure your wires are falling in the right place so they're not getting in contact with anything uh and this just snaps right back on like so uh all right so now that that has been snapped in uh it, you, this is the first piece you're gonna take off and so in order to take this off literally all you do you grab right here and you see how easy that just comes off in the other side and then you just work your way forward on disconnect your wires so it's super easy to take out uh, it's not a big deal at all um so now that that is all snapped in back in place the whole console has been successfully put back in so I hope if you're having problems with your shifter, this video was able to help you to be able to fix this problem uh, and you can follow these steps. And like I said, I know I wasn't able to explain how to take all these off step by step in the beginning, but it's super easy. You open the console, you pull this up, you start taking this off, you unplug the wires. The next one just snaps off. The last one does have the six bolts. Um, and so if you follow those steps, you can definitely get through uh, fixing this yourself and not spending a bunch of money changing your shifter cable. Um, so again, hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, uh, any other ways that I can help. Uh, feel free to drop a comment. I'll always try to respond to those. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos on Toyota 4Runners. Thanks for watching.